Meanwhile, the United States government is set to help Nigeria boost local agriculture and food security. This is as the U.S. ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Beth, says Nigeria remains a key strategic partner, thus its support through the USAID's trade and investment hub, which is likely to improve livelihoods, help reduce food imports, and boost local farming. The initiative, a $20 million grant, about 7 billion naira in equivalent, will seek to provide almost 40 thousand jobs in the next five years. Our correspondent Idong Joseph tells us more. It was the launch of the U.S. Aid West African Trade and Investment Partnership Initiative with private firms from Nigeria, Ghana, Ivory Coast and Senegal. The project seeks to catalyze economic growth through agriculture, create thousands of jobs for small-scale farmers within Nigeria and the West African region by the year 2025. Now we are not looking at under the ground anymore. We are looking at what's on top of the ground. The United States ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Beth, explains the U.S. government involvement in the project. If you're going to double trade with this continent, obviously you're going to be working with Nigeria because it's the giant. It's the biggest economy on the continent. But the West Africa Trade Hub is a tool to reach that goal, right? It's something that brings in extra private sector money to go along with our money to help develop agricultural products, uh, make links to bringing them up the food chain into production. So you're touching on so many important goals that the United States and Nigeria share. You're touching on goals of food self-sufficiency. You're, you're touching on goals of diversifying the economy. You're touching on goals of increasing opportunities for livelihoods for Nigerians. Also, the chief of party, West African Trade and Investment Hub, Michael Clements, says the grant will be between 250,000 US dollars to 2 million US dollars. We look at each grant on its own merits. Can it create jobs, and especially for women? Can it mobilize towards the 300,000, and especially FDI? And then the third thing, which is very important, certainly in the Nigerian con context, is will this grant help reduce imports? And potentially, can it create products for export? If you get all of those things right, if you get the gender balance right, if you get agricultural productivity up and running on a grander scale, and many people are doing these things. Stakeholders have loaded the initiative, saying it will give small-scale farmers a sense of pride. Coco is farmed in Ivory Coast, in Nigeria and the like, shipped across Europe and America, processed into chocolate bars, imported back as finished product. So the farmer farms in vain. He tears the soil in vain. And so we believe that this partnership allows us to scale up value addition processes by moving from just basic farming to product processing. All the land that were given to the River Basin Development Authorities in the southern part of Nigeria and the Niger Delta have all been abandoned and grown with wheat. So we want to see the possibility, we want to work with institutions like this to raise awareness, create uh, potential funds and get Nigerians to take over this land and plant on lease so that we can get the value chain of rice and self-sufficiency in agriculture. Idong Joseph, Plus TV, Africa.